Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of renovating fun. <sighs> yes, we are starting another week, or rather it's now Wednesday, so we've had a couple of days just doing like odd bits of jobs here and there. I'm going to show you guys the kind of progress, but we haven't done anything major because obviously we know you guys would want to see that. Um, but yeah, it's all starting to come together and this morning I think we can actually start to have a little bit of a tidy up of that area behind me because we need a little bit more space to manoeuvre and just in general to breathe. Right, so this is the current state. We have finished painting all of these bits. This wall has now been painted and given the two coats and obviously did the end bit. Over yonder, we have added in a bit of, um, I hate this stuff, I think it's called like conduit or it's like plastic cable casing. I hate it, but it does obviously prove to be quite useful in this particular instance. We're getting a new front door, but we haven't decided on that. Simon yesterday made this little error and started painting a little touch up on this wall in that colour, rolling fog, not rolling fog mid. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much where we're up to really. This bit over here, the um, fireplace, which I showed you guys last week, which I was talking about, I'm gonna start to do something on there. Haven't actually started that yet, although I have bought some wood and I'm gonna talk you guys through that in this vlog and hopefully make a start on that. But I do need, as you can see, a little bit more space. So now that all the skirting board is painted and last night I caulked, we just need to make sure that the floor is all clean and then we can move the sofa back and kind of organize this area a little bit better. Right, we are gonna have- When will it end? <laughs> when will it end? When, when? We're gonna have a tidy up so that we can start to have a bit more space and also we have to do quite a large task which is give the floor a bit of a scrub because um, it's laminate, we don't really bother. Aside from doing the skirting boards where I tape, we don't really put any like dust sheets or anything down because all of our paint is water-based so it wipes off really easy. So we're just gonna give that bit the scrub a roo, have a bit of an organise and get ourselves into a much cleaner state. Right, we've just cleared this little area here first half so we can start tidying, but Simon said, should we show you all the loft? Exciting times. Because you've not seen it since you we had it boarded. Yeah, go on then, up you go. Oh, I thought you come up. Oh, no. You can go up. Up yonder. Ooh. We decided not to put the architrave around the hatch. We just painted on the inside of the hatch, didn't we? Yeah, just going up in my socks. Up we go into the loft. Well, we've already filled it with so much stuff. Okay, we hi. Oh, it's chilly up here. Yeah. Heck. Ta da! It is so handy to have all this there so we can have a little walk. Got all our paint here to the side just so that we've got it to hand. But yeah, there you go. That's, that's it, that's the loft. How visually pleasing. Right, Simon has spent the majority of the day putting all of the new sockets. Do you mind? At last. <laughs> putting the new sockets and switches on, but we've had a bit of an issue, we've got a couple to change. And I've had a relatively easy day because I've just had to go to Blue Water and pick up our new light fittings. Oh, so now, thank you, we're putting up one of the ceiling roses in the dining half of the lounge. Oh, careful Boris. Um, and then we're gonna put up the light fitting. Very nice. Is that right, guys? I think so. Ta-da! Look at that. I'm so glad we spent a little bit of extra monies because it was very expensive that light fitting, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't 
Was it much more than the other one? It was, that was 175. What was your IKEA one? IKEA one was 50. Ah. So yes, considerably I more. I thought the IKEA one was 95. Nope, <laughs> 50. Um, so yeah, I like it. In fact, no, I love it. And Simon likes it as well, which is excellent news. Um, as you can see, he's starting to put together the dining table, which we've had in the basement since before Christmas. Was it? Yeah, I reckon we bought it. We bought it late December, didn't we? Um, and then we've also managed to put up the other light. I spent a little while. Yeah, I did help. Yeah. And I've actually scrubbed this entire floor, thank you. Anyway, I was deliberating for ages whether to get two of the same. Obviously, two 175 pounds is, was kind of <laughs> a little bit of a put off. So instead we decided, because this one's going over the dining table, it's more of a feature and it's massive, it's huge. Looks like a hat, doesn't it? I think it's like that. Yeah, so this one was um, much cheaper. Still from John Lewis, it was £55 and it's still sort of black wire effect and it casts this really cool shadow. It's the same, same name. It's the same name, yeah. It's like Hiko or Haiko. I bet that's Japanese, yeah, isn't it? Probably made for like, stuff like this. Yeah, probably made to kind of coincide with each other. But yeah, happy with those. Now we're going to crack on with the new dining table, which I'm very excited about. everyone it is now Thursday so last night after we finished putting together the dining table we carried on having a bit of a tidy and we've now got the front room feeling it's not totally organized but it is a million times better than what it was and the babies have got more room to kind of charge around and stuff because obviously we've got rid of a lot of our furniture so they've got quite a lot of space at the moment until some of the new furniture arrives so here we are looking slightly more organized look at boris <laughs> looking slightly more organized um not totally organized but at least the babies have got more room to kind of run around in this area which is nice so yesterday obviously got the new light up this one i love how it casts all of these like shadows like rays on the ceiling the one in our bedroom does the same thing but obviously through glass hi bean and then over here obviously put up the dining table last night we haven't found chairs yet these are just the old two which are now heavily covered in paint and filler and god knows what else from all of the renovating work um but we're still trying to find four chairs to go around there but i'm looking for something very specific so i'm being a bit particular about it obviously got the new light up yesterday and then we've had an update on our custom piece of doggy furniture it's like a sideboard over there it's not actually going to arrive now for a couple of weeks there's been a bit of a delay just because he's running a bit behind the carpenter um but yeah this area looks much 
better now. We've obviously got some things going on over here. So Simon was putting up all of the new plugs and switches yesterday, but we've had to do quite a lot of filling because some of them are a bit tricky. Once again, because it's a super old house, but much better. Don't you agree? Yeah. Right, now my next DIY task is the doggy gate, which as you can see, I have already begun. I've spent the last, well actually I spent, I think it was yesterday morning? No, the morning before painting this black and I use the same black paint as we have on the handrail on the stairs. Um, and now, of course, what am I gonna do? I ordered more cane and I'm gonna cane both sides. Now I'm not cutting out these middle bits, A, because I can't be bothered and B, because it just provides some structure for the cane to stick to. So I'm gonna adhere cane onto this side and the other side. So I have ordered quite a lot of cane. This is like almost a hundred pounds worth of cane, which is potentially a bit excessive, but I think it's gonna look really cool. Right, now the doggy gate is done, we've received some other samples of the coving. So we're gonna pop them, just sort of prop them up, aren't we, and see what they look like. Yeah, it's too small, I think. So we've got a couple of big, like much big, is that one of the bigger ones? That's the biggest. That's the biggest. I think that's too big, because of the window, of the window. Oh yeah, yeah, so we have to think about this section up here. So that's just a tip from us. If you're ever doing any coving, obviously you can see what it looks like in other places, but think about all your other areas as well. I think it'll fit, but if we ever go back to- It would just limit good. us. We wouldn't be able to necessarily put a curtain rail up there. Okay. Oh, that one's gone. Veto. This one. Nice shape, oh, that's oh, it's quite modern that one, isn't it? Right. Okay, yeah, next. That's the same one? Same one, yeah, I just see it. Oh, you just flipped it? Because yeah. a lot of these you can have them like either way. Mm, yeah, not, so f not such you a fan of that, that one. I think, so it comes, quite, comes down far, I think. It'd be an issue around the, cur around the curtains. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Next. I thought it was going to be too small, but it's alright. I quite like this one. And the one with the wave, like little wave. Yeah, ones. and you could have that either way, couldn't you? That yeah. way or that way. And it fits over the old coving. Yeah. Perfection. Yes. It literally does, it slots into the bottom of it. Nice. That'd be a good guide. Okay, decisions, decisions to be made. So we're gonna have to measure up and then we're also gonna get a piece. It's kind of like a column panel for on here to disguise 
the wires and things because obviously they have to stay there um, but boxing in is just a bit ugly so we're going to make it look more attractive. <coughs> Hello everyone, it is now Sunday, it's about midday-ish, I'm dressed in actual clothes, it's very exciting. So over the last couple of days we've been doing lots of little different bits and bobs around the house, obviously, and we've also had the carpet fitted oh, down in the basement, so that's almost finished isn't it yeah but obviously we've got the dedicated video on that so we're not sure when that's going to go up yet but it will go up soon ish so yeah basically what we've been doing is oh up here we put all of our um prints our memories if you will look back up they were up there before Probably not getting the best view from down here. Let me go upstairs. That's better. And um, so yeah, we've been putting our memory prints back on the walls. Excuse the hideous state of the bathroom. Look at it, it's grim. And in the bedroom, we've put up that print over there. Probably change that at some point. We'll have like kind of like what we have on the hall, the black and white photo. And then we've got these ones over here, which currently just have the IKEA liners inside so again i think we're going to put some of our canada pictures in there but at least the walls are now not so naked still haven't really decided if or what should go over the bed but i don't mind leaving that plain for now but down in the lounge we actually did yesterday drill the holes for my new very sort of mid-century modern mirror to go up here and we just Simon said oh you can you can do your outfit and then we went to put it on the wall because we've obviously had to sort of paint around the screws and touch it up and this screw came out so you're gonna have to hold the mirror for me in a minute so I can do my OOTD a nice shot. you cool with that yeah cool um doggy gate finished you saw that already I think and we've also prepared the space over yonder for our lovely beloved disney artwork there's all the crew thank you so much sir for this kind assistance um so here is my outfit of the day look at his little feet stuck out the bottom um i'm wearing it's quite heavy <laughs> you need an arm workout um, the coat is from The Curated, jumper underneath, nice and cosy because it is already freezing outside, is and other stories, it's quite old now, a few months. Jeans are totem, and actually I noticed I've got an awkward stain, but you know what, doesn't matter, we're just going to breeze past it. And then Vasia trainers, and I do have a little bag over there on the table maybe, it's a little Cezanne crossbody. Thank you so much. Well Your assistance is no longer required. <laughs> right, so we are heading out to go and get more bedding, which is why I have one of our pillowcases, because it's laundry day today. I was going to say washing day, which is normally what I would call it, but I'm training myself to use a word that is universal in all countries. Um, so we need to go get a fitted sheet and two more pillowcases, because for the last few weeks we've just been using the old white ones, and it's it's bugging me because it doesn't match. Um, and then we're also going to go get some home fragrance. We're going to get some reed diffusers. Not very interesting. And then when we get back, we'll probably give you guys a little talk through of what we've been doing down here. Because as you can see, we had a bit of an investigation. <laughs> right, we are back from running our errands, shopping bits and pieces. We almost got everything we needed. Um, and now I've just had a nice relaxing shower because we're going to have a bit of a Netflix binge. We're watching this thing called Power at the moment. It's a bit old, but Simon loves it because it's all about gangsters and stuff. Um, but I said I was going to run you guys through this area over here and what we are going to be doing. So that is what I'm going to do. Right, I'm going to try and make this as brief. Hi! as possible because I know I have a tendency to waffle on about these things. 
So this was here when we moved in. It was actually built out either side here, but when we had the new flooring put in, I think now four years ago, we had those side bits knocked out and we hadn't really considered anything about this because actually this is very practical, even though it is just a box because of this area here. It houses the most important thing in the house, which is the sky box. <laughs> so we hadn't really considered doing anything with this area, but as we do live in a really old period property, it would be nice to have some sort of fireplace feature. As I'm a bit of a worrier, I wouldn't really want a proper fire, like I don't want a fire in here. A candle is the maximum amount of fire I can deal with. So what we want to create is like a fireplace that doesn't have a fire. So it's just for show. So the first thing we wanted to do was just check that there wasn't some beautiful fireplace hidden behind this boxing in, which is what we did over here. Simon made a nice little hole the other day so we could investigate. And yeah, there's no beautiful fireplace behind there, I'm afraid. No stunning Victorian wonder, just a load of brick which isn't even attractive and not even in very good condition so we're not going to remove all this and knock it out which i think is what some of you thought we probably would have done instead as you might be able to see depending on what size screen you're watching this on we have drawn some things on here and we've made a little plan so we're going to use this as our fireplace and we're going to make a fire surround fireplace kind of feature that still incorporates the skybox area, but we're just gonna try and make it, I don't know, more visually attractive. So that is the plan of action for this. <sighs> right, that is us done for one more week. Thank you very much for watching, as per usual. And if you have been following along over on Instagram stories and you've sent through any DMs or messages or suggestions or whatever when I've been asking for suggestions, Thank you very much because many of them are super helpful and your recommendations are always mm, excellentio. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'm hoping, we're hoping, that next week should be the penultimate week. We have a few extra bits and bobs which are going to arrive the week after. But most importantly, oh my god I forgot to tell you, dining room chairs arriving on Wednesday. <laughs> See you then. Bye.